Hey ladies, it's your girl Aisha, back again with another video. I know I'm kind of headless right now, but I'm getting ready to do a demonstration for you about how to make your own silk top closure. Not the little ball that you put at the end of an invisible part, oh no, 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 no. Like your own lace top closure. So stay tuned for that. To do this, you're going to need a couple of things. First off, you're going to need this lovely little plastic mannequin head like I have, and she gorgeous. You're going to need that. You're also going to need something like this from Dollar General. I got mine. They're little foot covers, and they're kind of like a beige color to match your scalp. So just get whatever color is going to match your scalp. I don't think anybody's scalp is black, so I guess black is not for anybody. <laughs> um, you're going to need that. You're also going to need a pair of scissors to cut your tracks and some bond. And you're going to need some wheat. So I'm, going, I'm making this closure for a particular three quarter wig that I have from Model Model, the Eugene Curl. And this Model Model Glamorous Curl happens to match it uh, pretty much spot on. So I'm going to be using this for the closure piece. So once you have your materials all ready to go, you're going to want to take one of those foot covers that I showed you at the beginning, kind of like this, and you're just going to put it on your mannequin's head. Now be gentle with her. your mannequin kind of looks like that. She got a big old head job with that thing. It's a good head. So, <laughs> you have it securely on her head. Now, we can kind of draw a line and get started putting the tracks for the invisible track together. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and start putting the tracks down in place for the invisible part. Now you notice I'm not going to start right here where the rib of the foot cover is because it's not going to look natural when you try and put it on your head uh, once it's fully completed. So we're going to start kind of like back here or, you know, however far back you want to. Just don't get back here where the seam is. And we're just going to start gluing. If you need a really detailed explanation of an invisible part and how to do one, I also have a video. I'll put a link to that in the description box. Let's get this glued up for you. Alright, got it glued up. I'm gonna get ready to uh, do what we gotta do. The only thing bad about this is that you can't put a mark on the um, cap itself because of, the, because, because of the color of it. You can't put a mark, so you're going to have to really eyeball it and make sure it's really straight. Just put that there. So I'm going to add the next track on here. Just wipe some of the bond off. So you definitely don't want too, too much bond on, on it because then it'll look goopy and it'll bleed through the hair. Did there, ladies? Okay. I pre cut a lot of these tracks right now just to kind of speed up the process so y'all won't be looking at me doing this all day. That probably won't be a lot, a lot of fun for y'all. There we go with the next track.
retract the loop for some more. So as you ladies can see, I have this entire side already completed. And this is where the closure is going to be in this back spot, if that's what you're wondering what that is. Um, but yeah, this whole side is completed. I did a pretty good job of staying straight, I believe so. But we're going to see how it goes for the next side. So we're going to go ahead and get started with that. Like I said, I already have these pre-cut tracks, so it kind of makes things a little easier. Did that off camera so you guys wouldn't be waiting on me to finish. Might be kind of boring for y'all to watch that. Trying to put it as close or as even as possible with where the first track was. So you can see that. Where the first track was. Put it pretty close. I so like my nice and neat. Just a sliver of skin showing. Just a sliver of skin. So I gotta hold it down for a minute so it doesn't fall off or slide. a little bit, I guess it's okay. Um, it's not too much because you don't want the bond to be showing elsewhere on the book cover. Go ahead with the next one. I never really concern myself with how long it is or how far it reaches out this direction because I mean, obviously, it's not really going to be seen because, you know, the hair is going to be covered anyway. So I, I never really get myself too worked up about how long it is. If she were real, she would not like me pressing on her head like this. Oop. Well, ladies, if you continued on the other side, you would have something that looks just like this, or very similar to it, hopefully. And we have completed our invisible part. Oh, yes, how nice. So now we have a spot that is perfect for a closure. So, like I said, the hair that I used up here for the invisible part is also from Model Model. It is the Equal 5 Glamorous Curl in 1B up here. And so in that pack, you can catch my review video of that hair. Also, I'll include a link at the, in the description box. But inside that box, they also give you a free closure piece that looks just like this. You can see it. I know it's all black. And this is a little bit of lace they have on the bottom that I've already cut off a little bit of. And it actually fits perfectly into this spot. So that's definitely what I'm going to use as a closure. Now you can make your own closure and do your own thing. But I'm going to take a little shortcut here and use the closure they've already provided me. So I'm just going to glue it down. Okay, so I just glued on the closure that was included in the Model Model Equal 5 Glamorous Curl um, pack of hair. And as you can see, it fits right in very nicely. And yeah, look at there. Look at, look at that. Very nice. It kind of nicely imitates, you know, my awkward hairline. You know, y'all know I have a kind of weird kind of hairline. And so, 
I mean, it's not going to be at the very edge of my hairline because I have a lot of baby hair. So, it imitates what my hairline would be like very much so. So now, we're going to take it off and see how it looks underneath. Okay, so off camera, I took it, um, I took it off the mannequin's head. See right here. And I actually blow dried it just to make sure that it was really, really dry. You can see the inside of, um, of how I laid it on the, on the foot cover for you. So, yeah, I just blow dried it and made it, made it all nice and neat. And so now we're going to cut it, cut around it. Um, more than we need to make it um, able to be sewn onto the wig.